it is It is indeed a very, very good afternoon. Welcome to this exclusive uh, program where I will be talking to Madame Ruth Dante, who is a UPND Media Director. To present the program, my name is Lawrence Muleka. The inauguration of uh, Hagainde Hijilema HH uh, as the seventh president of Zambia was held on the 24th of August 2021. President elect Hijilema won by a um, landslide with over 996,000 votes between him and incumbent President Edgar Lungu, who got 1,814,201 votes. Now, one year down the line, after um, this resounding victory, we look back at what the 12 months of the UPND in office has been like. Again, the lady who I have in the studio needs no introduction, as um, people might know her from, from Livingston, and uh, she has a media background um, um, from a long time ago, in particular um, here in Livingston uh, with uh, Zambezi FM Radio. Also on the program, I have um, Mr. Nato Hawawala, who is... Um, Southern Province UPND spokesperson. It is a pleasure to have you both uh, at Falls FM Radio. Uh, welcome, uh, welcome back to Livingston. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you. It's it's it's, it's nice to be uh, to be back home, and uh, what makes it more nice is that uh, I'm back home, but I'm sitting on the other side. You know, I was on the other side when I was in Livingston, but now because I'm coming from Osaka, I'm now on the other side. <laughs> and I just tell the police, I miss you so much. I love my town, and I'm so happy to be here. Mr. Halobala, it's a pleasure, always a pleasure to have you here with us in the studio. Thank you, Mr. Maker. You've been so grateful to us as a party in the province. I think you've been always there. We appreciate the role you play as media. So, for us as a party, my special that we are in government now, we can just promise that we continue working with you because we believe that. Can't right. First things first, uh, before we get into the nitty gritties of uh, our discussion today, um, Ms. Dante, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, we just want to, um, to know just a little bit about yourself and your journey, of course. Okay. Um, well, I, I know people remember my name as, uh, as, as Ruth Ganda, for the, the name from my late husband. But I want to say that. Uh, 18 years down the line, I'm now married. Um, this is uh, Mrs. Hitton. So I got my name back, Ruth Dante, but now you can add Hitton. So when you hear Hitton, no, they are talking about your your, uh, your, Ruth, your Ruth Banda. I'm a journalist by profession. I'm a person that was, that, that has held from here. I, I grew up here. I was at Linda East, uh, Linda Secondary School, then went to Evelyn Horn College, then I did public administration uh, at, at NIPA, and I'm currently doing my master's in in public uh, relations at, at NIPA. So I've lived in Livingstone. No one can tell me about uh, Goma C235. That was where I lived with my grand, my grandparents and then came to Maramba, uh, MC80, MC84 Porti Street. That is where I lived. Then I grew up. I, 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 was, I was teaching as, as, and trained. And then teacher at um, Elibui Primary School. Then I got a job. Then I said, teaching at, at uh, Messiah Secondary School, those days they would allow. As long as you, you show that you are a genius, you take a favorite subject. Then I joined Zambia Railways. So my journey continued from Zambia Railways. I decided, no, no, no. I think I need to get to, to my profession. And that's when I went to Evelyn Horn, Horn College. And uh, that is where my career my career started. Until to 20, 2011, I even stood here as an independent to try to test myself. When I was getting into politics, into politics, and I was called to go to the second. I joined uh, the UPND, where the one that formed the media team, a media team together with my colleagues, uh, Cello, 
uh, Mr. Mr. Ndumba was actually one of the one of the council workers. He's now the deputy commission, um, uh, law government service uh, service co commission. We also at Bomuli okay, Bomuli okay, is here. I think he's running a he's running a, a, a university in 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 Lusaka. So that has been that has been my my journey. So I'm just I'm I'm just in Lusaka, but my heart is uh, is, is is back home. You are aware that there's this concept out of my hometown. <clears throat> Well, when you listen to me, when you hear me talk about my own town, I'm not talking about Mr. Ndambo, but I'm just talking about the home concept where you, all, all of us should think about where we come from. We should be concerned about development where we come from. Is there any change from the time that you left, you left your town? Where is it that you think you can, you can facilitate? For example, we are in government ourselves. Where is it that I can facilitate to ensure that there's development? In the way I grew, where I grew up, do we have... Uh, do we have uh, uh, toilets? Do we have quality self drinking water? Are people able to to access access? Are there relatives? Womulonda in Somos. What what is the set of affairs uh, regarding um, uh, safe quality drinking water? Do they have it? Do they have a good standard of sanitation facilities? So that is what should be in all of us that we are living in Livingston, even if we are we are out. I like Richard Dakashan, but because all the time he's talking about what can we do for our town? What can we do for our town? There's a group. Of uh, former students in the secondary school that are actually building a, a, a library, but they want to go further to see what they can do for the compound and for the for the surrounding uh, of uh, sur surrounding of uh, Linda 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 Secondary School. So my heart my heart is here. That is where even when I'm buried, I used to tell my president and others that please. In the case we were killed, because you know, face to face with PF was always very dreadful. There was a time that I was pointed by uh, a pistol. It was so cold, I felt as if my bones. I said, "If I die, please take my body back home." And I mentioned Livingston, Kwamungongo, where my grandparents are, where my brothers are. So this is uh, this is who Ruth Dante is. I'm actually a Livingstonian. Even in Lusaka, they know I'd boast about being a Livingston. So I love you. I love you, and I miss you, and I'm always with you in my heart. Ruth Dante, you are UPND Media Director. Just tell us, what is unique about UPND? Well, what is unique about, uh, about UPND is that um, is a, is a style of governance that UPND brings compared to the past regime. Now, the, the kind of leadership and the style of leadership that, uh, that makes UPND unique and different is because it is a leadership that is service above self. You have heard the president talk about service above self, where the leaders, the politicians are servants and the people are masters. So they are there in parliament, they are there in, 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 mini, in ministries, they are there in different offices to serve the people. They are there as servants of the people. So even when they are seated in the in the office, theirs is to, to look at what is it that you can do for the people. Are we responding to their needs? Are we resolving their issues? Are we are we in touch with uh, with the people? That is what makes uh, uh, UPNG uh, different. The vision of President Aka in the Hichilema is uh, making life better for the people of Zambia. That is the, the, the vision. And of course, somebody will ask, why, why that? It is because of our past ground and also our past background. And that is actually what makes UPNG unique. 23 years, you've been laughing at us. You've been laughing at 23 years in opposition. They are losing, they are losing. Little did, know, did they know that we are actually bonding, getting stronger. And also, and also increasing in terms of in terms of me membership, and also getting to know what we need to do when we are on board, and because of what we passed through, because of what we passed through, that is why the president coined his vision as to make life better for the people of Zambia because life was not better at all for the people of Zambia. You know how the environment the environment is the, I mean, the environment was. The environment was hostile. Hostile. Cutters were the ones that were masters of masters of all. When a cutter realizes that you are, UP, you are UPNG and you're in the market selling, they'll break your shop. When cutters realize that even when, even if you are a simple servant, maybe there was just like a, 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 a message you sent to UPNG. They'll say this is pro UPNG. You remember the case of of uh, cutters that went to attack the the, the young lady at means of vaccine in supply. The reason was, he is what, I mean, she is, UP, she is UPNG, 
And he saw the PS. The PS is a technocrat. The PS is not a politician. But there was nothing that, that the PS could do. Cadres were, cadres collect levies. Cadres collect levies. Cadres could go in any office and, and say, it's a energy much panim, bomber, ni bomber. Making people of Zambia fail to organize their life. There was no peace. There was, there was no peace. Now, that is what we passed. That is what you, anytime you could be arrested. Here where I am, I look like a lady. But you know, I've been slapped at by police, slapped at by policemen. Fought, fought with the, with the, with the, with, with cadres. One time I fought with the cadre. In the, on the, on the, on the bus. Because one, they said, no, this is your PNG. I said, yes, I'm your PNG, so what? They dragged me and we fought until we reached the, the session. So that is a kind of a life that, that we were leading. Look at what happened to our president. Now, I know I'm going to bore you with this story, but I've got to tell a story because you will not know where we are today. You will not know what has changed. If I do not, if I do not talk about about uh, this story, no, PF, no, don't talk about the past. You are, no, 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 no. You will not know where you're going if you do not know where you are coming from. So this is where you are coming from. President Hichilema himself arrested more than 16 times. The worst case scenario, anyway, is that worst case scenarios. I was working in the presidential team myself. You remember how we ran off the, ran off the, the rooftop? San FM, I was there. Who were, who were, were Kandas? Those were Kandas. Uh, Mokuba, Motel. So Mokuba, Motel. Missed by an inch. By who? By a PF, by a PF card. It is a shaker. What happened in a shaker? Now, that is, that is our present. Come to our people. More than 5,000, 6,000 or so have been arrested during the time of the, they will just arrest you. You, you are going to report to the police that you have been beaten. They will instead arrest you. So that is what, that is what we pass through. How many of our cadres died at the hands of PF? Greza Matapa. PS with what? PS with, with, the, with the screwdrivers. Because he was a PF. And he refused, sorry, because he was UPNG. And he refused to join the UPNG. They said he will teach you a lesson. Right. They were breaking and breaking his what? His stone. They broke his one. He still said, I'm so sorry. I will remain UPNG. They killed him. Okay. They killed him. PF cutters were arrested. Let's come to what happens to A young girl, 21 year old young girl. Just going to, uh, to support, to support the, the president at a rally. She was shot at in cold blood because she was UPNG. What happened in, uh, what happened when we were, when we were in, uh, in, in Kaoma? Lawrence, Lawrence, I don't, I won't talk much. Lawrence Banda, our card was talk, was, was what? Was, was, was shot in cold blood. As I'm seated here, we are living, we are, we are living, we have two of our youths that um that are living with live bullets they are living with bullets in their bodies one of our youths had one kidney also damaged by screwdrivers i want to thank the seventh day adventists at least for donating uh for donating a kidney what happened to hh's house hh's house what happened raided in gem style fashion where those policemen or cadres it happened under it happened under 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 PF. So there's I can go on and on. <coughs> 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 mm. I, I know you can go on and on. And on. <coughs> Perhaps um, Mr. Albabala, you can come in uh, as um, as Miss Dante just uh, um, uh, sips on some water there. Yeah, um, Mr. Albabala, before we go back to uh, to um, um, to Madam Dante. Tell us about Southern Province in particular. You are a Southern Province spokesperson. How has it been um, for Southern Province in terms of specifically uh, Southern Province? Well, I think for <coughs> last of the party in the province, uh, uh, as we are looking at the, the one year of UPND being in government, it has been something that is uh, can be described as uh, uh, okay, let me, let me just disturb you there. Let's just pick <coughs> up this call because I did um, uh, mention that uh, the phone line is uh, open and uh, people can uh, can call in. Hello, good mo uh, Good afternoon. <coughs> good afternoon, sir. May we know who's calling? I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. How are you? 
Yes, go ahead. Mr. George, that's Mr. George there calling us. Uh, Dr. Proud, Dr. Proud, sorry, sorry about that. Dr. Proud, thank you very much for coming through. Okay, I think. Uh, Mr. Proud, yeah, calling us from uh, from Osaka. Let me just uh, get to, to to add. I think he's, he's trying to get into what I was what I was saying. <clears throat> so this is a story that I was I, I, <clears throat> I was given. But today, what are we seeing today? There is totally no cadreism. Why? It is because there is political will from the president. You will not see cadres anyway. Where you see cadres now, it is the responsibility of the community of the community to deal with any of those that are showing the cadres behavior. Why? It is because the president issued a decree. There should be no cadreism. That is a change that you see. Anybody can sell in the market. You can wear any party regalia. No one is going to no one is going to ask you. No one is even going to move you. No one is even going to intimidate you. That is a change. That is one of our of our success stories. I was talking about HHB Gold. Whatever you, whatever 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 he uh, whatever whatever he went. Today what is happening? We had PF, we had uh, former Esther Lungu summoned at post headquarters in Lusaka. She was accompanied by the husband. <clears throat> Kadas also went. Did you see any tear gas? There was no tear gas. There was peace. Of course, because of the thuggery behavior of PF, we saw how some of the PF officials in their thuggery manner trying to, 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 to offend the, 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 the policeman, but they failed. Policemen were up to standard of being professional. They just listened. Dr. Ngurua was saying all he could say, trying to annoy the policeman. But the policeman was so professional. Now, that is what we are seeing today. So, that is a success story. But perhaps, you remember perhaps, that musicians. Perhaps at this juncture, um, yeah. uh, just take time to explain the difference between a kada and kadarism. Because a lot of people do not understand that um, there could be a difference. Um, <clears throat> UPND still has kadas. 
but um, what is the difference between the cadres that are there and cadreism? Political, oh sorry, <laughs> oh, political cadres, uh, political cadres. You know, a cadre is a cadre is someone that supports and believes in something. I'm a cadre. I'm a UPND cadre because I believe in UPND and uh, UPND I, 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 ideologies. But the cadreism, the, the cadreism that that we have created today is because I support, for example, in the PF, because I support PF and PF is in power. I am going to use the power that the power that uh, the, the power that the, the party I support has to try to take advantage of other people. The way the cadres used to do, where they would go because he's UPNG and he get and, and start getting levies because he's UPNG. I sorry, because he's PF, he starts collecting levies because he's PF, he can threaten anyone. That is cadreism now. That is even it's, it's, it's an abuse. It's an it's, a, it's an it's an abuse. Abuse of you belonging to, uh, to a what to to a, to, a, to an organization. Now this is the this is the the, the, the difference. I'm using my cadreism myself to try to build my party, to try to communicate what my party is doing to the people, but not to use the cadreism to abuse to abuse uh, to abuse people, or to offend people, or to threaten people, or to my advantage. That is the cadreism that has been stopped. Do not use your being a cadre to take advantage of those that do, that those that do not, are not in your party. That is that is a cadreism that President Hichirima, Hichirima, Hichirima has, has stopped. And maybe let me also take this opportunity. The president issued a decree. <clears throat> now this is to my brothers and sisters in the community. The president issued a decree that no cadreism. The cadre is not responsible for collecting any levy. So if I'm selling in the market myself, <clears throat> The president has issued this decree and he comes as a cutter <coughs> and I take away the money. I remove some money and I say, mm, who do you blame? The president issued a decree. <clears throat> who are you blaming? So it is there that we as, <clears throat> as citizens will now need to implement what the president said. No cutterism. If I'm at a bus station and the cadre comes, I say, "Excuse me, move away." Those are things of the those are things of the past. <clears throat> so let us take advantage of this decree and ensure that we bring to an end the pockets of cadreism. Well, I'm aware that there are some PF PF cadres that have joined UPND, and now they are doing it deliberately because UPND <clears throat> has scored where cadreism <clears throat> is concerned. They want to come in and start behaving in that Kadaish manner. So that people can say, Kadarism We are aware about that. And so it is the responsibility of the citizens. Report them to the police, report them to be to the police, or you can even have, uh, effect a, a citizen arrest. Do not give uh, do not give them anything. So we have scored. <coughs> that is a success story. I was talking about freedom of association. <coughs> you can belong to any to any political party. You can wear your, your regalia. If you want to protest today, <clears throat> you can protest. Kateka, the, who's the FPD? Heritage. Sorry, Heritage President. Kateka, she protested against the cost of living. Free, she was standing with a No one went to harass her until she got tired in the side. No one went to harass her. That, that is the change. That is a success story. But what was happening in the past? Musicians that wanted to protest, what was happening? They had to go in the bush to protest when a pirate. So we have scorned. The other students, they protested one time. I don't know that it was against the middle hours when they came to, to Great East Road. What happened? Policemen followed them. Can you imagine following them to the extent where they had to fire tear gas right in the rooms? And we lost. We lost one of the one, one of one of the one of the girls, Vespa Smajila. We lost. Is it happening today? No, it is not happening. Doctors, we are protesting. Anybody can protest. Their political, the opposition political parties, they are holding press conferences. No one is harassing them. They can say whatever they want to say. No one is harassing them. But in the past, if you are holding a press briefing, first of all, would look at a place. How safe are we? Oh yes, there's a office. And make sure that you've got a youth outside. Because anytime the PF hears that you have a press briefing, they'll come and attack you. But now, 
anybody can host can have a press briefing anyone can go you, you have seen shoni tembo you have seen it Diadi. they can say whatever they want to say if they want it they can even insult they can say things which do not even exist things that are, 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 are wrong they have the freedom of expression and that is a score anybody can express but the president is saying let's allow people to speak because when people are allowed to express themselves then you'll be able to tell what is it that they need what is the gap in terms of our in terms of our, our our governance i know that the opposition also don't want us to score on that line they say no upng does not want to be advised does not want to be advised the freedom of exp expression that the friend has allowed simply is to let you know that as opposition political parties you are there to offer checks and balance you can say whatever you you say our job is to listen we remove the insults at least we'll pick that which makes sense and we know that uh, we know that we are we are doing so this is also another score and then the retirees if you remember the retirees were camping at the ministry of of justice and you'll see the minister of justice passing with a brief a briefcase <clears throat> from his vehicle without even saying good morning to them, without even saying hi to them, without even paying attention to themselves. I've just arrived, give me time, I'll come and nothing, nothing, until they started singing pray, uh, praises, singing hymns, praises to their God, even praying and preaching outside. The, those were the retirees that had contributed to the development of this country. Those were civil servants. <clears throat> Did the PF pay them? They did not pay them. But now we have a president who has paid them. The retirees were paid about 128,000 paid. We know the, the story of Tazara, Tazara workers in, in Kawe. We have scored, we have paid, about 15,000 of them have been paid. Now let's come to, uh, to teachers' recruitment. You, can, you, you know, you, you find that um, <clears throat> the, the opposition have just developed this of just opposing and saying anything. When um, Sokotone is talking about the budget, that in, in our budget, <clears throat> we, had, we, had, we, had, we, had, we had allocated money for teachers recruitment and, and healthy, uh, healthy personnel recruitment. No, they, they can't. Where is the money going to come from? Where is the money going to from? Now here it is. We have recruited and our style of recruiting is not silent. <clears throat> The people are saying we used to recruit. We're asking them. We don't know that you used to recruit. It is you that know that you used to employ. Because we don't even we didn't even know who you were employing. You are not advertising. Even at the time that you advertise, you find that everyone who has applied, not even one person will say I was I was employed. So we have scored on that chart. We are so transparent in the manner that you are recruiting. And then apart from, from transparency in the manner that you we are recruiting. We are looking at the whole country. Recruitment has actually been decentralized, getting down to the people, so that the, those that have trained as teachers in in in, Lu, in Luwingu, in 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 Kazungula, in Mbala, in Chipata, in Lunda, in 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 Lundazi, in in Solozi, in Mwinlunga, can also apply. That is the difference, and we have scored. You do not need to know Ruth Dante. No. You do not need to be to, to, to be related to a UPND. No, you do not. The qualification one is you've got to be a Zambian. NRC, Kurt Curry, to show that you are a Zambian. Number two, if you are recruiting teachers, what are we looking at? We are looking at grade 12. The grade 12 to do, obviously be a, uh, be, be, be a grade 12. Not, not material, but a grade 12. Then do you have the qualification that is needed for a teacher? These are the qualifications, and we are we are abide we are abiding to the qualifications. That is what we are applying to a person that wants to become a teacher, and they have been recruited across the country. There is nothing, nothing like no. This is not our stronghold. That the way the PF used to do. No, teachers have been have been recruited across. So we have scored. Now we are coming to healthy uh, to healthy health. To, to help us, eleven thousand are expected to be to be to be recruited. The advert was there. Everything is in the newspapers. The first time it has happened. 
That is transparency. We have scored. We have scored. Then I'll come to equalization fund, 116 councils. There was nothing like, uh, no, they were going to give the council in that province because they didn't vote for us. No, looking at Zambia as UPND stronghold, PF stronghold, uh, FDG stronghold, NGC stronghold, SP. No, no, no. We are looking at Zambia as a, as, 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 as a nation. So the councils need money. Equalization fund given to all 116 councils. That is what? That is a score. Free education. What were the PF saying? Uh, it can't happen in Zambia. It can't happen. Where will the money come? Where, we, where, where is the money going to come from? We have implemented the free education policy. Because the president believes that human development is the background, is the cornerstone of every development. Education. People will have to access education. Primary level and secondary level. We have implemented free education. Anybody can take can take a child to school. We have scored on that line. Someone will say, no, but come my university never will branch. CDF. There's a component of CDF. I don't have the, uh, the, 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 the exact percentage of the CDF. CDF, people in Livingstone. CDF, Community Development Fund. Even from the term community means it is the people living together. You are the ones. To develop, use it to progress. Use it to change for the better. Development. A fund. The resources you need to develop as a community. That is community development. That is for you, the people of Livingstone. Do not be cheated. And that is where Hakainde Ishima has scored. We have gave you 1.6. 1 1.6, 1.7. Million per year, but how many days should increase from 1.6 to 25.7 million quarter per year? He has not chosen that that area is our stronghold. No, it is for the whole country 25.7. All the constituencies, as we are speaking, of the 25.7 line them. Hearing about stories of the grants to the cooperatives that applied. That is your money. Now, I'm going to draw so much on that because that is where we have scored. That is where our vision is making life better. How do we make life better for the people of Zambia? We've got to sort out their problems, their issues affecting their lives, their issues affecting their, their surroundings, their environment. Issues do not happen in Lusaka, issues happen in Livingstone. Issues happen in Kazungula. So President Rainde is saying, Garden Combo, you cannot know the problems of people in Livingstone. You cannot. Our governance, is, our, our governing will be different. The people of Zambia will be part of the development process. It is people-driven development. Give people the money. That money is yours, like I have said, to deal with those issues. Now, I said, that money is turning to our vision, again, the chairman's vision of making life better. Because he said, resolve your issues in Livingstone so that your life can better. You've got your money, deal with the money. Now, this money is yours. So, HH, the new joint administration is giving power to the people. We have scored. We are giving you power. We are giving you money. UBND, the new joint administration is saying, the money, the resources belong to the people. Give them, they'll know how to use. The role of government is to facilitate. We have scored. We have scored. Under the PF, it was different. It is something that had the money. Was the money with the society? No. Was the money with the was the money with the communities? No. The money was in their pockets. You saw how cadres were showing off with their money. But it is saying no. And they put money in their pockets. But it is saying, no, take the money to the people. But now to the people, how are we going to use the money? The CDF is not for the member of parliament. I want to make this point very, very clear. The CDF is not for the member of parliament. The CDF is not for the council. The CF, CDF is for the people. The member of parliament and the councillor is there to ensure that they facilitate, to and ensure that the people in the communities 
use that money to resolve the issues affecting their livelihood and their surroundings. So when you have that money, let me give an example of in the way where I was staying and in Maramba where I have lived. We need good toilets. It's too much of pit latrines. And we need good roads, at least within our within our within our within our, our community. We need our police station, we need clinics, because now Libuyu has grown. This is where now you as members of the community, if you want to, to benefit from CDF, take interest in belonging to ward, de ward development committees and residential development committees. Because that is where now you are going to discuss the issues that are affecting your wards. You say, okay, we need toilets, we need a clinic, we need a police station. Again, you say, okay, fine. These are the problems that we have. So, agent is saying, okay, those are the problems that you are about to prioritize. What is number one problem that you are supposed to use for the CDF? No, the first one, I think we need a clinic. Because it is very far for, for a woman to get to Maraba Clinic or a clinic from a pregnant or an expectant mother to get on a, on a bicycle or to get on a lift to come and deliver the boy. We need a clinic. So, okay, number one is a clinic. Number two is water. Number three is the road. All that is happening at community level. That is why we're saying this development is, is people-driven. Now, that is now taken to the councillor. Remember, the councillor is the custodian of the people. And I do want to appeal to the councillors. Our councillors, how much information have you given about the CDF? There's so much about it. No, we don't know about it. No, the guidelines. You as a councillor should take interest in the CDF and ensure that the people benefit. Because after all, when you when they were voting for you, you the one who was saying, I'll bring water, I'll bring this, I'll bring this. Now HH is saying, okay, I'm going to give you money. So you have the money. Educate people about the CDF. Help people about the guidelines. Loosen up. Loosen up this bureaucracy we're talking about. The councillor should take interest. The MP also, you are voted in because you are saying, I will bring development. Now, as it is giving you this money, 25.7 million. Don't, give, don't keep quiet. Use it. Use it now to bring that development you are talking about. I'm, 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 I'm saying this so that people can know. Can we put our councillors to task about CDF? Tell them how much money have we received? Because that is what President Daka in the Chilema wants. That is why he has directed this money to you. It is your money. Use it to develop. Use it to resolve your issues. That 25.7 uh, is shared. Libuyu, know. Know how much your share is. Musatunya, know how much your share is. Look at your problems. If you, have, if you have resolved one or two problems, you even deduct. That is what the president wants you to do. Keeping government accountable. You are part of this process. Be part of So we have scored on CDF, but we will not score on CDF if the people are not able to utilize uh, the CDF. So that is why I'm appealing to our members of parliament. I'm appealing to our councillors, especially because UBND takes you as very important people. Very, very important people. Because you are the custodian of the people. You know the issues that, uh, that affect the people. So that is where we have scored. There are areas where we are told um, opposition, opposition uh, leaders, trying to make it difficult. But me, I don't agree. I do not agree that because a, an MP, because a councillor is of the opposition, and therefore we make it difficult. No, I've told you. The money does not belong to the councillor. The money does not belong to the MP. The money belongs to you. So where President Akainde Ishema is, he knows that I've given Livingston 25.7. They will resolve the issues. At the end of the year, we should be able to say we have developed in this, in that, in that area. So we have scored uh, in, 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 uh, in, in, in that area. And I know the PF will say, we have not scored. But Gambiri, people like Gambiri, they were beaten. They were beaten in in, uh, in Kabwe. Followed at a Miji, at, at a Miji house, in a radio program. The cadres followed to hound him out of the radio station. 
Now, that is media. Now, media freedom. The journalists now are free. They can interview anyone. In the past, if I came to be interviewed on this radio, I would obviously have some of our youths outside to see whether we have any cadres that would climb up and come and harass you. Now it is not happening. That used to happen. HH's voice, even just a voice, in Mufulira, in Chisali, where cadres entered, entered a radio station to attack, attack a journalist who was talking to, to HH was in, um, in Lusaka. Media freedom, was it there? No, it was not there. Where is the post? Where is the post? The paper that digs deeper. It was closed. I went for the post. It was closed. Prime TV. They had the watch with the drone. We also had the radio stations, that's why in Northern Province. Lutanda Radio, Radio Mano, where they would follow once the people that are featuring are UPND. Journalists were not free. Because even journalists were tagged, anti-government, UPNT. So we have scored in that line. So this is a success story of the UPNT in government. But remember, as I said, UPNT on its own cannot. Government is you. Government is the people. Government of the people. For the people, by the people. That is government. So it is all of us that are in government. So let's take responsibility. Let us participate in this development process so that we can have our lives change. I thought I needed to draw so much on, uh, on, uh, on, the, on, the, on the city. Then another one again is um, you are aware that we inherited almost a corrupt economy. Dates. By the end of last year, $17 billion dates. Nkongole minanasia by PF. And sustainable dates. What happens in a home when parents have got in Congoli? The first thing you look at, okay, Grangoni Kaunga, Lipilani Manzi, Lipilani Ma Lipilani Ma Light, Lipilani Ma Rentals, Lipilani and Congoli. Now, your salary is 3,000 quarter, Una Congoli 1,500. That was the situation in Zambia. Emoluments are to be paid. After emoluments have been paid, the credit which the PF borrowed was a must pay. This, can't, this government was remaining with very, very little money for critical ministries such as education, such as health, such as agriculture, such as community development. There was no money. Because in Dharma, you also have to from Congo. In fact, they should even be embarrassed that the, that the president that they are castigating the president that they hate so much is fixing their mess. Here we are. We have scored. IMF did not even want to listen to PF because of their reckless borrowing, borrowing for what? For consumption. Much of the money that they borrowed went into what? Went into their pockets. They borrowed due courage way. Campiongo was, was, was posting just a week ago. The money we borrowed was for the infrastructure. You check the roads. Due courage way. That was that is where money was given there. Do you know the amount of money of, of the PF? I don't want to mislead people. HS said, let's renegotiate. Some contractor, let us renegotiate this price. It's too much. Do you know that the new Don administration saved 600 million from the same dual courage way? We have scored. And that is why you have seen that these works were suspended. They are doing an audit. Not that you were not doing because it's PF. No, we're doing an audit to know exactly the status of each project. So I've just given you those examples for you to know where we are today and when I say we have scored. Just in case you've just joined us today on this uh, special program, I have with me in the studio, Madame Ruth Dante, who is a UPND media director. Also on the program is uh, Mr. Nato Halovala, who is Southern Province spokesperson for the United Party for National Development. Now, um, if you want to um, interact, you can call 0970-243-236. 0970-243-236. Or you can send um, a WhatsApp message on 977 That's 977 
4866. I have a message here. Um, it says, what about the ex Zambia Railways retrenched workers who were underpaid of most of them have died with poverty, but they served the country diligently. So this one comes from Anonymous. Um, yes, um, perhaps you can just quickly, quickly answer that before we, um, we start to look uh, dig deeper into the 12, uh, 12 months that UPND has been, um, has been in office, especially looking at um, the promises that were made before elections and uh, also in relation to your manifesto. So uh, just quickly answer, answer that one. Let's uh, just see if we can uh, pick up uh, one more call. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. May we know who's calling? This is uh, Lunga and Kandela calling particularly in Yes, uh, Mr. Lumba. Yes. What <laughs> Thank you so much uh, for coming through. Yes, uh, perhaps you'll just make a quick comment over, um, over those sentiments yes. and then um, uh, we continue with our discussion. Okay. Now, the first, uh, the first one from Anonymous was on uh, uh, ZDR, uh, Z ZDR retirees that are, are still unpaid and he said this, uh, uh, have, uh, some of them have, have, have died. Now, that is, a, that is a government issue. That is a government issue. But I want to say that as I'm on radio now, I'm recording all the issues that I'm going to get from Livingston, and I'll be able to take the issue to, uh, to, to the ministry that is related, related to that. But like I, like I have said, that UPN, the new Don administration is on track to resolving those, uh, those issues. So I'm sure that government right now has already a record of these retirees that were unpaid. Because there's no way that they can pay Tazara, uh, ta ta Tazara workers without pay retirees and workers without paying uh, uh, ZR. So, Muta, uh, Muta, don't you, sorry, I've even forgotten my, my <laughs> talker layer now. My, don't lose it, don't lose hope. The new donor administration is a, is a listening government, and we are, we are the party, and we want to ensure that they listen to this issue. So, we will deliver, uh, deliver this message, and I'll be able to, uh, to relay. The response to to the to the station. All right, I've got another caller here. Good afternoon. Yes, sir, sir, thank you. May we know who's calling us? Sir, this is Brian. I'm calling from Mutumbuka. Brian. Yes, I'm calling from Mutumbuka. Please go ahead, Brian, with your contribution or your question. Okay, yes, okay. I just wanted to thank Dr. Mutumbuka. I'm going to say that the same thing Please go ahead again. Please ask your question again. Is what I'm most aware that as we are talking, they are not drugs in hospital. Yesterday, I want to repeat with my son. I think out of the, the, the four meetings that I needed to take, 
I was just given, not even in, you know, just given a prescription. And they given a directive now, they said, the people who are the hospital have been given a directive. When they give out a, a prescription, they are not supposed to put a head stamp there. You see a way of that. So, that's what I'm also going to say. The CPO that she's talking about, how does the CPO has been released? It's only 6.3 million that has been released. I hate to say that maybe only 25.7 million has been released to all the constituencies, which is in the big line. When she talks of cutters, you see a way that as we are talking right now, there are people, there are cutters in Osaka that are collecting money from us. Now you bring the cutters from, that are collecting money from us. And I was do if you maybe she thinks I'm just talking from without it. Let her go on to someone who no uh lane TV. She will see that there is a picture that people complain that some some cutters have been advised to be paying the So when she talks about cutters, she talks about cutters and all things. She shouldn't say we're finished at the region. She should say we have reduced. Because the region is there. 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 Because the Catalism is there. So let us not talk of no one who finished Catalism or not finished Catalism. You have reduced Catalism. Yes, that's why I need to give me a minute. I mean, we're giving you answer for that. I know that you have finished it. I like to the Catalism is there. CGA for two of the CGA, the most of the most of the CGA for two of the CGA, the only six or three million has been released. As we are talking, the process that has been implemented now, this is a process that was supposed to be implemented in the first quarter, which is the result of the process being based on the match. So when she talks, she tells people that uh, it's not uh, the, 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 the MPs when they are for the challenges, when they go to ministries and they are to ministers, to ministries, to ask for, 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 I mean, for help and that. Like, what they have been told is, we told the CGF, CGF. The CGF is talking about it. So uh, as we are talking, they have only released 6.3 million out of the 25. That's why they have been released. The minute of um, <coughs> local government was in that. To say, can you tell the people to say, the money that we have received is so much. Don't just make you get things of the list again. What people know now is they 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 don't even provide it in their account. It's a lie. Let us take a first try. Is that all? Come again. Is that all? Sure. Thank you so much for calling. <coughs> yes, there's uh, many concerns there yes. uh, from um, from that caller. That, that is what I love about um, that is what I love about Livingston and especially. Uh, community radio because you get to know what is happening now uh, what is happening on the on the on the ground now no drugs in in hospitals now I think that is that is what the minister the minister herself of health has been dealing with the issue of drugs in hospital I just don't know how much money was released to ensure that you got drugs in hospitals so I think that issue is being that issue is being resolved but my concern would be where a prescription is is given and then I, I think that, that that is that that cannot be accepted under 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 the under, under the new don ad, administration we, we are different ourselves from uh, from from pf because where the situation is as as no drugs in hospital that is taken that should be taken care of and we accept and we sympathize with that but the good part of it is that this is the issue that that our our minister of health has been dealing with the Minister of Health has been under pressure. It's not only Livingston, the certain areas, even Lusaka, where the issue of drugs is, 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 is being measured. So my brother, do not say they're not that drugs will be there very, 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 very soon. <coughs> but thank you so much for that. That is being a good citizen. Then on, uh, on, uh, on CDF. Now you need to know that the amount that, the, ma the amount of money that is there is 25.7. That is what you need to know as a citizen. And this amount of money is not to be used just there and then. No. This amount of money is an allocation to every constituency for one year. It is in phases. It's a pity that the first phase, this is the first time, mind you, it's a pity, a pity that the first phase, the releasing of, uh, of CDF was affected with the bureaucracy, with the guidelines. I remember... Uh, a member of parliament, uh, JJ, uh, complaining, and is it uh, some of the UPNG members of parliament also complained about, uh, about the guidelines, and this had the attention of the Minister of Finance, that these guidelines and the bureaucracy needed to be dealt with. So that is what delayed the first part. 
for that one we do sympathize with you but i think now that they've they've they've, they've finished dealing with the guidelines i think they'll put in uh, correct measures where the money will be allocated as per phase you will not see that then the cadres collecting we are saying that we're finished we're finished the catalyst now let us share this i said the president issued a decree when the president my dear uh, i didn't get the name brand brand when the president issued a decree no cadarism brand you do not expect the president to come and control cadarism here no no it is now the responsibility of citizens to ensure that they deal when i say they deal is i don't know to beat but you can effect a citizen arrest on the person that is showing that cadarism a person that is coming to you saying i want to collect money that is now the responsibility of us as citizens. Then we also need to know, like I say, that uh, we've noticed that this has increased in Lusaka. And we've realized that there are PF cadres that are wearing UPNG regalia, going there and harassing people. You know that UPNG, like in Lusaka, they're not in that, in, in that style. They're a bit on a, on a, 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 fear, a fear side because they know what the president, uh, president has said. But you have these people from the PF that are now trying to masquerade. Some are masquerading, some are masquerading as PF, but there are some who have joined. But now, in that case, my dear Brian, where the president has issued a decree, it is you and me. Here in Livingston, if they are cadres, if they are cadres, what are you doing as citizens? Government of the people, for the people, by the people. UPND is saying, participate. We are saying no cutters in bus stations, no cutters in the markets, no cutterism anywhere. Why should we allow them? Let's take responsibility and citizens because there is political will. If we leave it to the president alone, then they'll take advantage. The number once again, 0970-243-236. That's 0970-243-236. If you're sending a WhatsApp message, 977 72 Four eight six six. This message here says a voluntary separates not paid their monies. This comes from Duen Chilanga. And before you um, answer that one, let's just see if we can pick up another call. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, thank you. My name is Clint Simango. I'm calling you from Malasa here in Lister. Yes, Clint, go ahead. Uh, Ruth, I'm happy to hear you are still living on first of all. And I'm very much following on this program that is taking place. But we do have a few challenges, particularly I have three that have decided to raise. The first one uh, is concerning the Zambia Railways workers who were not uh, given their emoluments after they retired or got retrenched in 1995. Because I think I know the retrenchments were in two phases. One was in 1992, the other was in 1995. And it happened that my father is one of those people that were retrenched. <coughs> and last year I made some call up, so my father died in 1997, going far up to Ndola and Kawe. And unfortunately, his file does not have any documents. There were some farms that were allocated to the senior officers in the, in the company. And nobody even knows where some of those farms are, particularly my father's farm as well. As, because that was part of which is benefit. So we do have, I think, a few other, if not a lot, of other people that are having the same challenges like we have. That is one part. The second part, we are looking at criminality activities that are happening in Livingston currently, and I felt like raising it. But I think our, our relatives, the Lugali started this much and I think, there's been a lot of people that come from different farms, from Mokoni, that come from Pasoni farms, that come from many, many other farms that have been attacked and beaten to an extent where I think we've lost like maybe a three or two or three people so far. Unfortunately, this issue has been covered under the carpet, but I feel it is important to raise so that when these people are doing their traditional ceremonies or their initiation activities. Please, we pray that we find ways and means that we can have the authorities deal with this issue, bring them into joining Makanda because they want to be getting 150 per week 
from their families for them to buy food. Then the third issue we have is, I think, Mr. Mel, I also submitted to him a document that I wrote to the town clerk. The issue of harassing women who have gathered to create their out of their own initiative to start selling some foodstuffs, the testing from the cows, they get on contract or on an agreement with the people that own butchers and buy from other tribes to start selling. Instead, they get harassed and they get their food grabbed by the cancer workers instead of having them guided so that they do the right thing at the right time and get the council as the local authority to ensure that they, they, they give the documentations and the guides so that those people can also be selling in the market. Particularly, I'm talking about these widows, the vulnerable women and women, motherless, you know, children that don't have any source of income to buy books for the children and also to put on their tables and the tables of their family. But what shocked me is that this, each time the food is grabbed from them, wow, for the water, we have never seen where this food has been dispensed. So I wrote a letter to the town clerk and I copied the mayor and I copied the DC and a few other uh, local authority uh, uh, leaders that up to today have not received received any response. Instead, what is coming is that the council has now decided to go the way of warning people that are selling in the market. Instead of guiding them if there's any permits they need to have and it is an allocation of land that they should be given in the market, a portion to sell from, they are not being given. So we do have a challenge. Please, I'm voicing out for the people. I think we need to have this issue resolved because the local authority, even CDF, cannot manage to feed everyone in this company in living Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for coming through, Mr. Simango. Yes, um, some questions. Thank you, Roro. 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 Nice to hear your voice. Yeah, I'll see you later. Thank you. I'm happy okay. you're in. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much once again. Yes, um, <laughs> some concerns there. Okay, I think some of them uh, that Clint raised um, are living some base, but I think I'll pick on uh, on um, Zambia Zambia Railways. I think this is the issue that is coming for the second time, and I know that with Livingstone, we have the majority of people working under Zambia Zambia uh, Zambia. Railways. So this is of deep concern. Concern 1992 and 1995. Uh, Mr. Smango, we put our our minister uh, Frank Tayari. I think as, a, as, as an interested party coming from Livingstone, I will ensure that I will deliver, I deliver this, uh, uh, this, this message. And uh, I will not, uh, I will, and, and I will also uh, arrange that um, the Honorable Tayali uh, speaks with, uh, with the dog here in the studio on a, certain, on, a, on a certain day, so that maybe we can give you an opportunity where people can be able to air out their views as regards to to the payment to the payment of retirees and uh, and uh, and uh, Zambia Railways. Like I said, I'm I'm not in government, but I'm 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 in UPNG. I'm talking on behalf of on behalf of the party. But however, this issue I know can affect our 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 governance can affect our our votes. So us as a party now is to ensure that our honourable Frank Tyre responds. So I will do that part. Then the rest I think uh, <clears throat> honourable. Mr. Neto, <clears throat> Thank you. Um, I think I'll start with the, the the women who are being harassed by the council, and uh, I agree with my brother. He he submitted the, a detailed letter which I I went through, and that letter I realized that he raised the very important issues that he needed to be attended, and I did follow that issue. I gave the engage the some offices at the council and it's a pity that uh, I didn't come back to brief him on the response because even them they said no they needed to, to start but I was assured that within this week I'll be able to to, to to have a response concerning on what has happened because the issue definitely us as a party we feel I think there's a way how the women can be helped because what really happened on the material day, according to the letter, was something that also affected us as a party in terms of the way the women were harassed, 
and they are, I, I was very happy because some of the council officers who I, I had a discussion with them, they also regretted what happened. So for now, I think I can just simply say uh, that one, according to the response I was given, it is being handled. And the second issue of uh, criminality, I think this is another issue which I think he, the, the, the security, I remember the other time we, we, we had a meeting with some police officers to say, I think we must have a, a service that will help our people. These issues are brought to our attention like this. We'll continue engaging the security wing so that we see how we can uh, remove this. I'm sure, you see, one of the, the assurance, as our director put it, that during the campaigns we said we want to bring sanity and we want to make sure that everyone in this country is protected regardless of their political affiliation and the, 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 the status in our community. So we are going to work hand in hand with the, the police, but I want to make it very clear that as a party, our position is very clear based on the instruction or the degree the president has made is that the political party, even when we are engaging the security officers, we are not going to use the position of being members of the ruling party. We are going to use uh, the, the, the position we, are, uh, we, we, we have in the party as part of the, the, the citizens of this country, because that is the position. I think for us in the province, we, 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 we do appreciate so far that we are engaging the police <coughs> when we have issues. So definitely this issue, I can assure you, Mr. Crane, that it will be attended, because the last time we had a meeting with the police officers, they also raised these issues that we are also concerned as a security in the district that we need to make sure that our people are protected. I think those are the two uh, answers that I can give for now, but it, it's good that such things are brought to our attention and we, we appreciate when people are coming out, but as responsible citizens, like the letter which he wrote, I think it really gave us a, a, a joy that we have responsible citizens who don't just sit and wait for others to raise issues when they see that there's something which is not done uh, or done. Because we don't want to go back the PF route because what made PF fail is not to listen to what the communities are saying and to have such people who are able to engage leaders in a civilized manner, the way Mr. Simango raised those issues. I was very impressed. I think us as a party, that is the route that we encourage our, our members in the community to continue bring those issues to our attention and then we'll be also able to communicate to the relevant authorities so that they can handle those issues. But I think so far, as a party in the province, we are happy that we are receiving very good feedback and we are able to attend to issues that are raised within our 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 mandate. Madam Dante, you are um, speaking on behalf of the party, but um, a lot of people are asking um, the president's trips. Uh, a lot of people are saying <laughs> the president is um, is moving too much. They've even <laughs> given him a name, which I will not say here, but I'm sure you you've heard that name before. So. What would you say about the president's trips, um, the president's movements? Okay. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Doc. They, 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 there's, there's, been, there's been. I know we know where that is. Uh, uh, that is, is is coming from. I think you need to know that uh, Zambia is not an island. Zambia is not an island. We are now living in a global. We are now living in a global uh, village. We are part of the UN. We are part of of, of, of the EU. I just say that uh, uh, UPND or, or the new Don, the UPND new Don administration uh, inherited a collapsed economy. Surely, this puts the country in, in, in ICU and needing help. How do you think EU was going to know 
about our programs. How do you think EU, UNDP, UN was going to know about our problems, was going to know about the plan uh, that we have, we're going to know about the different strategies that President Daka Inde Ichema has put in place in trying to revive uh, this economy. So he had to engage, he had to engage these leaders. I think you've seen that uh, uh, from all these trips, what we see is change. Look at what is happening right now in terms of, uh, in terms of, uh, of, of, of dollar. Why is, why, why is, is, is the rate of dollar? Going lower. Why? Why is Kwacha gaining? What, what has happened? Isn't it because of the trip? Isn't it because of his engagement of the EU, of, of with you and his engagement with with EU, his engagement with other with other leaders? Look at the people that have visited Zambia. They are not visiting Zambia just to come and and see the Victoria Falls. No, they are coming to visit Zambia to look at what are the issues that you are facing. He's asking for help. Even a parent in their home where there's no food, the parent does not sit in the home. The parent has got to go out and look for food. And that is exactly what the president, uh, the president has been doing. We are aware that now Botswana wants to be getting grass from Zambia. Why? Because of their visit. We are aware that uh, the EU now is getting uh, avocado, avocado from Zambia. Where is that coming from? We are aware that Zaire now wants to be getting, uh, wants to be getting, uh, wants to be getting goats and lemons from Zambia. Because the president said, look, I've got goats. Look, I've got avocado. Look, I've got water. And I should say that uh, the other reason also why we are seeing the president going is the president is trying to put Zambia on the map as a center of production. You are aware what he's saying that we want, uh, we want, I want Zambia to place Zambia on the map. Where, where is it to be? Basket, a food basket. Zambia is going to be a food. Now, Zambia cannot be a food basket if people do not know the abundant natural resources that we have. You are aware that UPND has a plan, and the plan it has is value addition. You will no longer see anyone now getting Mokola out of the country. He told you that soon there will be no one taking maize out of the country. But if you want to take maize out of the country, then it has to be a So there will be value added to maize, value added to pineapples, value added to cashew nuts, value added to cassava, value added to groundnuts, to maize, everything that, that we have. Now, who do you think will need to come and invest in the country? So he's going to go out and attract these investors by telling them, this is what I have. Days are gone where people would come here and get our raw materials. I know you're saying, no, he's a puppet. No, he's not a puppet. He's putting Zambia on the map. He is saying, come and invest into my country. I've got a problem with the economy. I've got a problem with the high unemployment. I've got a, pro a problem with poverty. How does he deal with poverty? How does he fix the economy? He's got to create wealth. How does he create wealth? He's got to market this country, and that is why he's known as a marketing officer. And already, I told you, he has wanted to manage to, to market this country. I told you about goats, avocado, lemons, meal, meal. Meal will be coming from Zambia and not maize. So that is what we are, that is what he's doing. So he's going outside there as a chief marketing officer to market the country and the results are seen. And like in the past regime where you do not even know why, we are not even told, you don't even have a record, you don't even have a report on what the president, what, what the president visits all about. With us, even before he goes, the Minister of Foreign Affairs will let you know that the president will be leaving to Tanzania and this is the person that is going to meet. And this is the purpose of the visit. Every, every visit, absolutely every trip of the president is for the sake of trying to market this country and he has marketed this country. How do you think the 300 million came about? The 300 million that you have been given for NICO, how did it come about? It's because of his engagement. Now we're going to have the biggest nickel mine in Africa, which is going to create, to create a, I don't know, 900, more than 900 jobs for the people in Northwestern. Why? Because he has marketed this country. He's not going there to dance. He's not going there to try to, 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 to dress like other people, no. But he's going there as a chief marketing officer. As we wind down our program for today, perhaps um, something on a rather, um, rather lighter note, uh, not to demean this story, but then um, would like your comment also. Um, the breaking in at um, ECL's residence, um, what is your party's view? What, what, what do you think of the whole thing that happened um, um, with the break-in at, um, at Edgar Chagualungu's residence? 
Well, as a, as a party, I would say that um, we do sympathize. We do sympathize with the breaking of, um, of, of the house of our former president. I think you know where our president wants to place uh, the former president, Edgar, Edgar Lungu. We sympathize with the, with the break-in. But I don't think, uh, as a party, we do not need to be, to be brought in in that because uh, President Edgar Lungu does not live alone. Uh, President Edgar Lungu lives with his family. President Edgar Lungu has security around around his home. Usually what we do when there's a break-in, we would report to the, uh, to, the, uh, to, to the police, and the police will investigate and tell the nation on who broke in. Just like uh, we had break-ins during the time of, uh, the time of Arabi. I know that Arabi did not, uh, did not announce, but uh, the matter was always reported uh, to, the, to the police. So we do sympathize with the break-in, but uh, uh, it is surprising that now the PF are trying to politicize, the PF are trying to, uh, to politicize the, the break-in. I listened to Nakachinda. Nakatinda today, without uh, embarrassment, talking about President H. H. Talking about uh, talking about UPND, talking about uh, about uh, the reckless. But I think Nakatinda should be embarrassed. In the first, he should be embarrassed for him to say such a thing. He's even calling on Zambians to talk about this. To talk about this breaking. Where was he when he was gassing? Where was he? How many innocent people died during gassing? Where was he when when the markets were being bent? Did he stand up to talk about markets being bent? Did anyone talk about take out talk about <clears throat> PF the way he's talking about UP uh, UPNG today? Where are the killings? Many were killed and private parts removed, some their teeth removed, their, their eyes, their ears uh, removed. Did we spring up and, 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 and say what he's saying? Where was he? That today with a break in, he wants to say it is UPNG, it is print, in the, in the we know they are bitter. We know they are bitter because this is a president that did not believe was going to be uh, to, to, to become president. But he's a president. He's a president today. I think you should learn a lesson. You wished him dead. You showed him hatred. You called him different sorts of names. You jailed him for 127 27 days. You almost killed him in, in Sesheke. But he survived. Even when he came out, he said, I have forgiven everybody that was involved in my, in my arrest. That is what he did. And, yet, and we still want further to listen to you say no, to listen to PF wishing him dead. Antonio Manza, if it was another country, a bullet would, would, have, would have passed through his head. Edgar Lungu here at Livingston Airport, Etonga was set in the room, but not, but not HH. Edgar Lungu again, when I win, I will arrest him, I will arrest the President HH. We know how you hate him, but behave yourself, PF. Behave yourself. You are in the opposition now. Learn from the way. We were, I would say, we offered checks and balance. And that is why today we are in government. That is why we are that youth number, because we listen to the to the plight. And I want to tell you that, my dear, our focus, Nagachinda, and you whoever, our focus now, right now, our focus is not even on this break. Our focus is on the mess. Whilst you are looking at the breaking, we're also looking at this gassing. Who was involved in gassing? We want to know who was involved in burning markets. We want to know who was involved in killing, uh, killing, killing men and removing their private parts and other body parts. We want to know, but we're doing it quietly. So do not bring in UPND. No, we know you are bitter. You cannot believe it, and you know, we know that the the opposition gang up and uh, and are saying we are going to make the governing of this country. But you're not. You will not, because HH is a person that cannot be disturbed with such, and you know it. So we do sympathize, but I think that is an issue to be handled by, by, uh, by, by police. Finally, um, I know um, a, a subject like um, corruption cannot escape uh, such a fora like this one. So finally, as we close the program, the fight against corruption, it has been perceived as, um, as a, a, a witch hunt. Um, it has been perceived as uh, being targeted at um, a certain a certain region or a certain political party. What is your stance um, as as UPND as a party uh, in terms of uh, the fight against corruption? Well, the ones that are that are saying that are PF, that uh, the fight against corruption is vindictive and is, is targeted at them. First of all, they should ask themselves who was in government, who was in government. Who were they appointing in government? From which regions were they appointing? Those people that were responsible with the government resources. They're from those regions. So surely now, do you expect ACC 
to someone, someone from, uh, someone who was not even in government. It is not like that. And even if anything, PF should even be embarrassed to say it is being vindictive. Because they are the one that victimized the people of Zambia with their corruption. I was just giving you an example of 600, 600 million that was saved. Saved. It was them that had that deal with that contractor. But now UPNG came in. The same contractor, we have saved 600 million. Look at the faith. Uh, 65, is it 65 million? 65 million that he had. We, the money was seized. And what did the, the new donor administration do? It is supposed to the vulnerable children to tertiary education. More than 2,200 something from the money that was stolen by PF. Now imagine the money that they stole and that what it could have done to the people, uh, to the people of Zambia. So I think it is very, very unfair for them to think that uh, it is being vindictive. They were enjoying their money. Their cadres were all over with their money. I think the only thing they have to do is to just explain their source. And they should, they should leave HH out of this. Because they were on their own. Look at how President Kaide Chema is dealing with corruption. With the PF, they attacked FIC. That's a fake report. They were, uh, they were, they attacked the whole administration, the whole organization. They even changed the fake. I think to I don't know where they, where they shifted it to. Why? Because the fake said this is the money that has been stolen, the transactions, money laundry. This one is involved. Politically exposed persons are the ones that are getting that are getting contracts. That is what you as a PF did. Now today, you are supposed to answer to what was written in the report. And it's what, not what UPNG is bringing, no. You are being called, you are being called following what was written under Autos General Report and under FIC Report. Now, under UPNG administration, my dear, let me tell you, even our ministers know that they are dealing with a president who does not tolerate corruption. They are dealing with a president who does not tolerate money laundering. The good example has been given, has been said. Honorable Magwende, wasn't he fired? Wasn't he fired? The following day, what happened? The following day was someone at ACC. What used to happen under the PF? You are saying you have been, you have been what, was happen, what was happening under the PF? First of all, before you summon any of, any of my officials, I should let you, you should let me know. When a minister is summoned at ACC, what was happening? A minister goes with a government vehicle with a flag. Now, why was it like that? It is because corruption under the PF had become a norm. And there was no political will. But President Hakainde Ichirema has shown the political will and he has just set an example. Not only for you, PF, who are in government, you are going to answer for whatever you stole. But even for our leaders, our ministers, our, our, our PSS, watch out. See what, see, see what the president has done. He will not tolerate that. Remember, we said the vision, the vision that he has. He has a dream. He has a dream to make life better for the citizens, meaning that all resources should be used for the benefit of the citizens. So there's nothing here, there's nothing like a PFF, like a UPND, there's nothing like that. But you were enjoying yourselves. So leave HH out of, out of your mess and leave UPNG out of your mess. You were employing people from two regions. You were giving them those appointments. You will be in charge of this. And all the, all, all the reports show which ministry and who was responsible? So it is not President Akainde Chema. ACC is following the report. Thank you. I know we can uh, we can go on and on, but uh, time is never our greatest ally. Uh, final remarks. Uh, we'll start with you, Mr. Halwabala. Perhaps uh, very quickly your final remarks. Well, for us as a party in the province, we are excited with the achievements the European government have done in the past year. Yeah. I think he, I know we, we always say we, we had made the promises. Us as a party, all the assurances that we made, which were supposed to be covered for one year, for five years, 60% of the assurances we made have been covered within a year. That is an achievement that I think everyone should appreciate. So for us, as I said, in some other forums that the last time I had the, a chat with the president, I think it was two days before the, the election in Choma, he said, look, after winning, it, it won't be time for my celebration. 
my celebration will be when people start enjoying our leadership. And I'm sure the achievement that has been scored in this one year of being in government makes HH smile. I know with him we hasn't seen that, but I think with the interaction that we have with our people on the ground in the province, I think the majority are happy, and that is the only uh, uh, gift that we are giving to the UPM in Southern Province that I think the President has achieved so far, and we do appreciate <coughs> also what our national leaders are doing, because they are able to give us updates. But finally, I think I can just urge the people that for us as a party, we want to assure the civil servant that we won't be interfering in their professional work because us as a party, we respect these institutions because for the people to benefit the UPND policies, it is through the technocrats who are holding these institutions. So for us, we give respect to, the, to these people, the civil servant. And we also want to urge the civil servant that please, you must provide services to the people. I'm sure we all know what the president said last time. That there are others who may think that me, I was appointed by PF. The fact that they were appointed by the PF government, that was a Republican government, which is still there even today. So they should not sabotage the UPN policies because they are still paying allegiance to the previous leaders. I think what is important is what are they doing for the people of Zambia to benefit the UPN reports? They should not start seeing UPN leaders as enemies because they removed those who appointed them. I think for us, we want to believe in the same of one of the American president that every citizen should ask, what should I do for my country? Than to ask what my country should do for me. I think that is the spirit that we have as a party in the province. I thank you. Yes, and uh, finally, Madam Dante, your final remarks. I think my final remarks, uh, just to add on, on what uh, our provincial APS has said, that uh, the, the new donor administration is for the people. And like I said, that the type of governance that we have is service above self where we have you people as our masters, and we have those in, in, in the ministries, we have the politicians, we have the leaders as, as your servants. So you need to know that you also have to participate, participate in the development process. I've talked so much on, on, on the CDF that that is your money. It is not the money for the MP, it's not the money for the council. Those are there to just facilitate so that you can resolve your issues. So this is a, this is a government that is there to save you as their masters. And then uh, um, I'm, I'm glad over the feedback that we got from uh, from our, our callers on the state of affairs, um, which touched me so much. We're talking about no medicines in, hospi in hospital, Livingston in particular. And then we also have uh, criminal, uh, talked about criminality. And also we have unpaid, unpaid ZR, ZR uh, workers. Now I also want you to know that under, under UPND, you have a platform. You have, a, you have offices that you need to go to and air out your views, air out your grievances, air out any of the things that you, have, that you think affect peace, affect your livelihood, where you live. We've got the district commissioner's office. That office is there to serve people. Even now, I'm going to, I'm going to visit the, the, the DC, that I'm, I'm in Livingstone, and these are some of the issues that are coming uh, from the people of Livingstone so that she can take it up herself. I will also do my role as a person that is that is in this party in government I'll take up my role and straight away uh, deliver the the message the message to uh, to, our, to our to our to our minister. So feel free like Netwa said we're not like the other other regime we're not able to talk about problems. Please people of Livingstone I know you I know you very very well, you are people that are fearless, you are people that do not fear, you are people that enjoy peace. So the peace that President Akainde Chilema has brought is to allow you to organize your lives so that you are able to sustain your livelihood. So that at the end of the day, you have a better life, which President Chilema says. Again, I repeat, it has been part of the development process. Thank you so much.
Thank you so much, and once again, uh, welcome to to Livingston. Welcome back to Livingston oh, yeah. once again. <laughs> it, it has been a real pleasure um, having um, been with you um, on this program, and we do look forward to your promise of um, uh, availing to us uh, Honorable Tayali yes, to, come and, um, to come and uh, have a discussion with us on okay. uh, various issues that uh, that affect the people mm. of Livingston. Mm. Once again, uh, thank you so much uh, for being with us on this program. I've just been talking to uh, Madam Ruth Dante, who is VP and the Media Director. Madam Dante, thank you so much once again for being thank with you. us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's nice to be here. And also, I've been talking to uh, Mr. Nato Hawabala, who is Southern Province. Um, spokesperson for UPND. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Havobala. As usual, uh, I know we um, we just need to call upon you and uh, you'll surely be here to, um, to speak to your people, the people of Southern Province and particularly the people of Livingston. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Mr. Thank you. Dear listener, thank you for being uh, with us on this program. Uh, we do look forward to many other programs like this one. And uh, those that called in, thank you so much uh, for having been part of this program. My name is Lawrence Muleka. Until the next time, it is bye-bye for now. <laughs>